What is up everyone, Diggin' Dave? This is gonna be a two box nickel hunt. I have this box here and another box. They're both the exact same type of box. Loomis rolls. I didn't see any buffalo or war nickel enders, but I did see a few older looking ends, so. $200 nickel hunt, two boxes. Let's get digging and see what we can find. Very first roll. Roll number one, we're gonna have two nickels from the 40s, a 40 and a 47. Right here we have a 1940S. Pretty rough condition, but you know, from the 40s. And a 1947 Philadelphia. Good way to start off with two nickels from the 40s. Let's keep on digging. Roll number five, we're gonna get a nickel from the 50s. A 1954 out of Denver. Let's keep on digging. Well, this first box really slowed down. I'm on roll number 18, and I um, really haven't found anything too exciting, but just got a 50s nickel, 1955 Denver. No buffaloes, no war nickels, anything in this box yet, so hopefully it picks up and we find something kind of cool. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, I'm just giving you all a little update. I'm on roll number 35, so I've gone through quite a few more rolls, and I've got a few more oldies. No buffaloes or war nickels, but got a 47 Philly. A 1941 Philly, a 54 Philadelphia, a 41 Denver, 52 Philly, and a 47 Philly. A lot of Phillies there. And I did get a foreign coin, a Canadian, Canadian five cents, 1984. So. Haven't found anything too exciting in box one, but we do have some 40s and 50s nickels. And one Canadian, 1984. Let's keep on digging. Right, guys, I'm on roll 42. I did find this just a few rolls ago. A 48 Philadelphia, or yeah, 48 Philadelphia. This roll right here, um, I already looked at it. This rim looked a little different, but I've been tricked a lot of times where the rim looks kind of like a war nickel, but it's just a dirty nickel. This actually is a war nickel. It's just in pretty bad condition. 1943, Philadelphia. It is in pretty rough condition, but this has uh, is 35% silver. War nickel. So awesome. We got a war nickel, 43 out of uh, 43 Philly. I will take that. Let's keep on digging. Just finished nickel box number one, and we got two more oldies, a 1946 out of Denver, and a 1941 Philly. So unfortunately we didn't get any war, uh, sorry, any Buffalo nickels, but we did get a war nickel. We did get a little piece of silver. 43 Philly, 35% silver, really bad condition, but it is a war nickel. And um, 13 40s and 50s, all common, you know, no 50 Denvers. We didn't get any 38 or 39s, but uh, that's okay. We're going to move on to nickel box number two now. Roll number six of box two. I almost thought this was a war nickel, guys. It kind of has that 35% silver war nickel look, 42. But there's no mint mark above the, the building. So for 42, it's a transitional year. Some of them are the non-silver versions, not the war nickels. So this is just a 42 Philly. Had the chance of being a war nickel, but it's not. But still pretty cool, 42 Philadelphia. Mon roll 25 of box two, little update. Got quite a few Canadians, guys. Three Canadian nickels. Um, a 1984, a 1983. This one here is a little newer. 1994. Got a couple oldies. Got another 1942. N another one that's not a war nickel, 42. Philly. 1940 Philly, 1949S, another 40 Philly, and a 1946. We haven't found any war nickels or anything, or uh, buffaloes in box two. I'd like to find a buffalo nickel. Let's keep on digging and see if we can find one. I've gone through a few more rolls, roll 35 of box two, and I have six more oldies. We have a 1948 Denver, a 1946 out of Denver as well, 
What was that? 1941 Philly. 52 Philadelphia. A 54 out of Denver. And, yeah, another 52. I really want to find a Buffalo or a War Nickel here in Box 2, but we'll have to see. Let's keep on digging. Right, guys, I just decided to go through the last 15 rolls, and I got a few more finds. No Buffaloes and no War Nickels in Box 2, unfortunately. This had a thicker rim, and it is a Proof Nickel 1999S. It's very circulated in bad condition, but you can see a little bit of that mirror finish, so it it, it is a Proof. Um, got a couple more from the 40s and 50, 1941 Philly, 46 Philly, 1952 Denver, 41 S, got a lot of 41s, We've got a couple 42s in box two, but they're all uh, the non-silver war nickel, unfortunately, 42 Philly, 54 Denver, Another 42 Philly, not a war nickel. 46 Philly. 54 Denver. What do we have here? Another 41, very common year, and a 54. So as you guys can see, we got a lot of 40s and 50s nickels right here, but nothing too exciting. They're all in pretty worn condition. No war nickels, no buffalo nickels. We did get the one proof nickel and three Canadians. And then this is what we got uh, for, for box number one. We did get one 35% silver war nickel. And what we got, uh, didn't we get one other, where did it go? Yeah, right here. We got one other, we got one Canadian foreign nickel in box one, 84. So quite a bit of 40s and 50s we didn't find any 1939s or 38s no buffalo nickels which is kind of interesting but hope you guys still enjoyed the video this is why i don't hunt hunt nickels a lot because i really just don't find stuff i'd rather spend my time looking at quarters dimes or pennies half dollars but once in a while i'll do a nickel i'll do a nickel hunt hope you guys enjoyed the video like subscribe and until next time keep on digging